And now we join Michelle Coates at Daytona Beach International Airport, where she's gone airside to see what unseen airport operations specialists do to keep passengers safe and the airport running smoothly. We're all familiar with TSA and the safety protocols they have to keep passengers safe. But did you know that airfield operations folks do just as much, if not more, to ensure passenger safety? Airside operations handles tasks from airfield inspection to wildlife mitigation and airside security. They also patrol and inspect the airfield, landside, and terminal areas for specific safety hazards, security breaches, and operations and maintenance problems. We spoke with John Murray, Director of Airport Operations and Safety at Daytona Beach International Airport. We have anywhere from eight to 10 commercial traffic arrivals and departures a day, but we are also the hub for Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, which has well close to 300 flights a day, along with all the other flight schools, Phoenix East. We average uh, probably about 300,000 movements a year. Airfield operations does handle the obvious, airfield operations. They ensure that the entire airfield is inspected, secured, in compliance with all Federal Aviation Administration rules, and prepared for any emergency. Airport operations staff continuously train for the unexpected. Most recently, the airport implemented its FAA-required triennial mass casualty drill. We do the triennial drills every 36 consecutive months. The triennial drill brought together multiple agencies ranging from law enforcement, firefighters and evac to the American Red Cross, our local universities and colleges and the media. More than 200 participants work to test the readiness for a mass casualty incident on airport property. Airport operations oversaw the planning and implementation of the drill. Working with multiple partners is a strong suit for the airport ops folks as they often find themselves in the position of coordinating many partners in a project. The recent year-long $20 million runway project is a good example of that coordination between airport tenants, construction personnel, air traffic control, and more. We go through a formal training process on how to evaluate pavements, the reporting, evaluation, uh, safety and marking, so there's a lot of training requirements. To complete the repaving of the runway involved 5,385 truckloads of asphalt, 1,389 truckloads of concrete. However, the most important number of all was zero. Zero accidents, zero runway incursions, and zero safety or security violations. This was due to everyone's vigilance and awareness out on the airfield. That awareness comes to the forefront with every special event that brings many extra planes to the tarmac and the parking of those planes safely. From the legendary B-52 bomber with its 187-foot wingspan to C-5s and F-18s to the regular commercial flights and student training planes, there's a wide variety of planes flying in to DAB. Those planes have to be accommodated while they're here. There's literally hundreds of procedures that the FAA requires us to do, mandates, and we also deal with the Transportation Security Administration. Airfield operations agents work with a variety of aircraft. Each of those aircraft requires specific handling and that falls to the airside operators. Businesses known as fixed space operators that are set up along the airfield who cater to the aircraft to supply the fuel and other necessities. Those are coordinated by the operations agents. Even though Flight 722 was just a drill, airport operation folks are ready in case of any emergency. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michelle Coates with the Business Beat.